What's up, Bee? Welcome to Cooking Con Chile. Soy Chile. Um, thank you so much for coming. Uh, this is obviously going to be my first video, so the whole reason I have this channel is mostly just to stress relief, if I'm being honest. So, being a little selfish here, but I figure while I'm at it, maybe I can teach people a few tricks on the whole cooking side of things or just give you my experiences my experiments and let you watch my life because it's quite the show on occasion so hopefully you enjoy but today i'm going to be making brownies and i work like three jobs <laughs> so i don't have a whole lot of time to be making them from scratch so i'm being honest with you this is just brownie mix cost me like a dollar um so, I don't know if you know this, but I'm also mostly vegan. I like cooking vegan at least. So, instead of using the two eggs that my fudgy brownies call for, I'm going to be using egg replacer in a little baggie like this. And um, I already mixed it. So, basically, it's just two tablespoons of the little egg replacer. And then you mix it with four tablespoons of water and so that's the equivalent of like two normal chicken eggs okay so that's ready to go this is all of my mix that we're gonna mix here in a second um it also calls for oil but instead of like normal vegetable oil i want to use coconut oil just because apparently that's gonna help it come out a lot more fudgy and thick and I'm all about the thick hey -o. so what we're gonna do is go ahead and get a half cup of this and it's usually pretty solid but right now it's like a decent consistency so this is my little fourth cup measure I'm gonna make a mess today because that's just how I am so I'm just dropping stuff left and right but also filling this little cuppy twice because I need a half cup of this oil so for now I'm just mixing all of my oil oh you're also gonna learn real quick I'm not the most sanitary like my hands are clean for sure but yeah I touch stuff with my hands all the time I usually don't even use a spoon but you know y'all are special to me so I'm gonna use have to clean dishes tonight whoa okay so we have my half cup of oil and like I said if you're not super crazy and you just want to use what you have around your house um vegetable oil is fine it's the same amount half cup so it's in there um I also am replacing water so if you just want to use water it's a fourth cup I'm using almond milk um you can use cow people milk if you want to but this is going to be a fourth cup so that's just one of these and I'm not cleaning it out because again I'm lazy and this is more fun. Okay. So, now that all the ingredients are in there, psych, don't forget about the eggs. Okay, um, also, I'm gonna get a spoon to get the eggs out, because they're, like, really, like, I don't know, can you see this? They're, like, solid. Or, like, jello, gelatiny. I don't, I just whacked my whole head out of the picture, but it's fine. Okay, so it's all in there. It looks kind of gross, but that's okay. <laughs> vegan food definitely looks interesting and there's a lot of new textures if you're not used to it but we're just gonna mix all of this up and I probably should have used a fork or something else instead but it's okay because we're making do with what we have and that's important to anybody's success to be adaptable am I right? So, I'm going to mix this. It'll probably take a while. So, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut out all this boring stuff and uh, be right back. Okay, so I know I said I was going to finish stirring this, but I just wanted you to see that if you're doing the vegan method and not using real eggs, that it's like really hard to mix. And that's okay, because it is mixing and it's like brown. It's just really like gooey so i don't know about you non-vegan people you're gonna have to try it out and let me know 
but um I also wanted to take a quick second to let you know that you should probably go preheat your oven if you haven't yet um 350 should be fine but as soon as I'm done mixing this um I'm gonna have a little mine's a nine by nine it should be fine whatever size like brownies are brownies you do you um Oh my gosh, my oven is like freaking out over there, but it's okay. My propane was actually broken for like a week now. Um, and I just fixed it yesterday. Well, not me, I got a lot of help. But I got the part I needed, so paying for it counts, right? I'm excited to let y'all get to know me. I hope y'all ask me questions and are interactive I'm a really chill person I like meeting new people I like doing new things I really like beer I really was thinking about making some of my channel about beer and like I go to breweries a lot where I live like there's a ton of breweries to go to um so you know I try to go like once a week at least um but yeah Y'all should probably let me know what kind of stuff you want to see because obviously I'm still in my baby beginner novice YouTubing and um, I'm just here having fun for myself right now. I think it's all mixed in like as good as it's going to get so I'm going to basically spoon it into my pan now. If you want you can grease it. But I just bought this one, so hypothetically, it should already be nonstick. Hopefully. Um, so I'm just gonna throw it in and worry about that another time. It's so fudgy. Uh. <laughs> Get out. Okay, well, it's going. Look! Look! It's really i'm excited these are so fudgy um and thick 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 i have i definitely have the sickness for the thickness well you do your best you get as much of it out as you can feel free to use your finger if you're wondering why i'm called chile i probably shouldn't tell you this yet just because you know there's no one here <laughs> Um, maybe, you know, that's the type of thing you earn once I get my subbies count a little higher. But, um, I'll tell you, because you're here. You're my OP if you're watching my first video. OP. OG. That. Okay, I'm kind of dumb sometimes. But it's okay. It's like the cute dumb, I hope. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think I got about as much as I can out of there. And I spread it as best as I can to this pan i don't mean to rhyme but you know meant to be a rapper or something jk um but yeah now it's just getting stuck to my spoon and it's not really reaching the corners because my pan's kind of big for the amount of brownie brownie itch that i have going on here but uh yeah you do the best you can you're probably doing a lot better than me right now and that's okay you thought i was here to teach you how to cook but in reality <laughs> we're having fun with our food Okay, uh, so that's about as good as I can get it in there. <laughs> as you can see, the edges are a little sad, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to put M&M's on top. These are obviously vegan M&M's. They're not, they're like made out of quinoa or something. It's cool. They're good. Um, you can put whatever you want. Probably not Skittles, but hey, don't knock it till you try it. If you put Skittles on your brownies, like let me know how that tastes. And I'm just going to sprinkle them on top the most spread out that I can. And I assume that they'll either melt on top. Yeah, this the brownie dough isn't like liquidy enough for them to go through. So they're just going to have to melt on top. And then these things are actually like melted to each other. Because I think I left them in my car one time. And <laughs> you're supposed to refrigerate them. But it's okay. Food is food. As long as it doesn't go bad. I don't like when food goes bad. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go stick it in the oven and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna put the brownies in. This is what I got. And closing it and we are going to cook it for about 30 minutes. The black says not to eat the raw dough, but I won't tell if you don't tell. All right, it's been 30 minutes and it looks super done to me. If you want an extra test, you just stick a little toothpick in the middle and make sure that it comes out clean. I don't really mind because that looks yummy to me. And I'll cut into it as soon as it cools off. Make sure you turn off your oven. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut into it a little bit. Um, just a tip. I wouldn't use a knife. I just, I would use one of those little spatula thingies that are like flexy. What material is that? Someone help me here. But um, yeah, that. So I would go around the edge first just to make sure it's not like stuck to the sides. Um, and then from there, just cut it into whatever shape pleases you the most. So for me, it's going to be hearts, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to do squares. Passes. Okay, I have them all cut up. I'm going to go ahead and taste them. And let's see if they came out fudgy like they were supposed to. They kind of just like break apart really easy. Mm. Okay, again, I'm making a lot of mess. But, um... No, I like it. The inside's gooey and the outside's crispy, which is what I like. I mean, it's not like burnt crispy. You cook it an extra 10 minutes, maybe. But I like it a lot. I hope yours came out just as great. And let me know what other kind of recipes I should try. I like doing experimental stuff. Um, I can make it vegan or not vegan and give you the option of both, help you come up with your own little substitutions. But that was cooking con chile and hope to see you again soon.